Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial you will learn how to create realistic cracked skin in Photoshop. There are so many ways to approach this task. For this tutorial we'll be using blending modes and the liquify filter to achieve the look. We'll cover some general ideas and how to achieve the best results. For the start, we've already opened up a photo portrait of our choice. We've also brought in a cracked texture into Photoshop. Let's change the cracked texture blending mode to multiple and make sure everything is aligned the way we want. We may need to use various blending techniques to make our cracked texture fit the image better. For this, you can use curves, hue saturation and so on. This should get us somewhat close to the results we're wanting to achieve. To take it up a notch, we'll use the liquify filter. This will allow us to bend and sculpt the cracks in a way that'll follow the facial features, such as the nose, cheekbones and mouth. Go to Filter, Liquify. Here let's enable Show Backdrop under View Options to be able to see the portrait under the cracked textures. Feel free to edit the rest of the backdrop options to make it as convenient as possible. Now let's change the brush size to a desired size by holding Command and Option and click and dragging your mouse. To change the size, drag your mouse horizontally, left or right. To change the hardness of the brush, drag the mouse up or down. Now start nudging the image to shapes that will conform to the facial features. When done, click OK. Next up is to create a mask and make the texture appear only where we need it. For this, we're only going to show the cracked textures on one side of the face. Hold Option and click on the mask icon. This will create a black mask. Now make sure your black mask is selected and using a white brush, draw on the parts of the face where you want the effect to appear. While this is a very complex topic with almost infinite options, this is a general glossary as to how you may approach the task. Remember, as with many Photoshop tutorials, you may want to experiment with the different settings or add your own small touches to make it look real based on your material. What's your favorite Photoshop filter? If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.